Hi, in today's video I will show you how you can generate a punching animation with our skeleton tool. So first, let's generate a character. So what could be more fitting than uh, generating a boxer? So I'm gonna use the genera generate character tool and ask for a male boxer in uh, red shorts. Alright, nice. Now I want to show you what happens if you change like outline, shading and details, uh, which will uh, affect the uh, style of the character that's generated. So here you can see a much more realistic looking character. And if you make it even more detailed, it will be even more uh, realistic. So this is uh, some new settings for our new uh, generate character and uh, style tool. I recommend trying different outlines and shadings and stuff just to see what works. And here I'm just generating the rotation for my character. I'm not super happy with the placement of the right hand glove. So I'm just going to move it over, edit edit the image a bit, then use it as my init image. The init image will help tell the model where the glove should be, as it's like a starting point for the model. Now that we have our character, uh, let's uh, create some animations. So first, I will estimate skeleton, which will give me a skeleton for my character. Then I'm just gonna edit a bit to make sure it's, uh, it fits my character better. So this is pretty important to do, because if you're gonna insert skeleton, uh, the skeleton that you have in your, uh, in your frame is gonna affect the, uh, what the inserted skeleton is gonna look like, because it's based on that one. And yeah, don't worry, We're, we will do this uh, two more times with uh, the other characters that you saw in the beginning. So, but yeah, so this is also me learning how to do this as we go. Uh, I had, had I haven't really done this before, so it's uh, always fun. So here I'm just removing the uh, last two frames because I wasn't super happy with them. And I'm gonna edit this, edit this frame a little bit. So I'm gonna use this frame and the first frame you generated as like uh, guidance for the model. So I'm going to generate the last two frames again. And this helps the model get a better understanding of what it's trying to do. Because it has more information to go from. And yeah, quite nice. This glove needs a little bit of editing. So I'm going to give it some love. Uh, first, I thought of moving the arm. But I felt like, ah, let's just move the uh, skeleton instead. So I'm going in here, edit skeleton, and then just moving the bone a or the, the point a bit, and therefore the arm. And then remember to go back to the first frame in the animation, and then generate. Alright, now let's do the same for our more realistic uh, boxer. So I will quickly generate my rotation and then I will uh, get started. So first, fix my settings, then estimate skeleton like before. Edit the uh, skeleton so it uh, fits my character better. Here. The biggest mistake is probably like the neck is in the wrong place. And I'm just gonna first edit the uh, arms and shoulders. And you can see like the small uh, UI dialog there, uh, what uh, bone or point is selected. So here, for example, it says neck. 
The, then once you're happy, you can insert skeleton. In this case, I'm not gonna delete one of the uh, one of the frames. And yeah, I just click generate. So yeah, it kind of lost the uh, the boxing glove, but that's actually quite easy to for us to just manually uh, fix. And you could do this with init image uh, as well, and just um, draw like a red blob or something. But I think in this case it's probably just easier to uh, copy paste the uh, glove around. And the gloves that I'm copy pasting around could also be used as a init image as well. So whether you use, whether you draw it or you just copy paste it, uh, it will give the same effect. Now I wasn't super happy with the last frame, so similar to last time, I'm gonna edit the skeleton a bit. Uh, what's good to know is the last point that you touch with the edit tool is what's closest to uh, like to us. So to fix the like Z index, I want to move the uh, right arm last. So here still it got a little bit confused. It probably would have been better to move in the left arm even further. But still, this is so easy to fix. I'm just gonna use the erase tool and remove that uh, stomach or... And yeah, all good. And now we have a punching animation. So now for the last character, I'm gonna take my 64 by 64 character and use it as a init image. So this will just help the model understand like the size and like, what my character should look like. Pretty good, I must say. So I'm just gonna fix up the uh, colors a bit, <laughs> if you can even call it that. Maybe I'm just actually making it less good by editing. Now when it's time to generate my animation, I'm just gonna use the knowledge that I learned. So first, estimate skeleton. Then I'm gonna edit the, uh, the pose a bit to make it fit my character better. And then I will insert the skeleton. Things that should be good to note is that we, the, like the, the hand doesn't need doesn't need to be at the edge of the hand, but a bit up. But it shouldn't be super important. And what you will see here is. Because my uh, skeleton is isn't perfect for the uh, the template that we have for this animation, I need to uh, move the uh, bones a bit. So I'm, I'm moving it closer to the neck just to make the uh, the arm uh, shorter. Still it's not perfect, so at this point I'm just uh, gonna go in and edit it by hand. It, just, it only takes like one second, so it's, it's fine to, to do the, these small details by hand, in my opinion. Then here I'm just gonna move out the arm a bit, because as we previously noted, it's, it's a bit too short. And 
and just like before. I think like, okay, last frame is good. First frame is good. Second frame is all right. So I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy paste over the hand. Of course, I could use init image and in painting and do this with the model instead. But in this case, I feel like it's so easy to just edit it by hand. So I'm going to do that instead. And now we have like first, second and the fourth frame uh, already created so now we only need to generate uh, this third frame and here I can I can see the small changes I need to do to make this perfect so I'm just gonna edit it by hand and yeah it's done I hope you enjoy the video leave a like and uh, comment if you have any questions and feel free to join the discord if you need uh, more support